For many of us, the COVID-19 pandemic resulted in a shift to a more sedentary lifestyle, raising alarm bells for health experts. According to the World Health Organization, one in four adults are not getting enough physical activity. But some technologies have emerged to combat the trend and motivate more people to stay active by making our workouts more interactive. Feel that energy. The technology really allows you to feel like you are live with your instructor. Transporting us to new worlds. It is as cool as it sounds, I promise. It's so fun. Empowering us with data on our performance. The possibilities are really exciting for us. And enabling greater convenience than ever before. It would just cause a huge growth in digital fitness. Join me as we take a look at the technologies that can shape the future of fitness and sport. I'm Christy Lou Stout, and this is Tech for Good. With a 270 degree wraparound screen and an immersive digitally created world, I'm experiencing the trip. A cycle class at Pure Fitness in Hong Kong. The sensory experience was created by New Zealand fitness brand Les Mills as a way to drive motivation at the gym. Technology can transform a repetitive indoor activity like cycling into an engaging, colorful experience. And as we discovered the potential for high-tech workouts, a number of companies are offering a suite of interactive exercise equipment designed for the comfort of your own home. Four, three, two, one. The pandemic has normalized home workouts. As lockdowns shutter gyms around the world, fitness buffs gravitated toward virtual options and high-tech outfits saw opportunity. We did better than double um, through the pandemic. At-home fitness um, is definitely here to stay. There's so many different consumer plays with connected equipment and services. Thinking about workouts, I think this has forever changed the landscape. Connected fitness enabled a gym-like experience without the need for a gym. And Peloton, with its internet-connected stationary bikes, and now treadmills, as well as a roster of charismatic instructors. Okay, Peloton, let's go. Is widely considered a pioneer. This is your moment, right here, let's go. Our members uh, work out more with us basically every single year from the year prior, which is just a great testament to the fact that it is a fitness system that has caused people to want to work out and want to achieve their goals in a way that many fitness systems before have, have failed for those same consumers. Building itself as a technology, media, as well as fitness company, Peloton says it has 5.9 million members and 8,000 employees. Welcome to my house. Our instructors spend every single day honing their craft to be able to better connect with their members. Focus, be mindful. To ensure that their classes are meeting the needs of our members, are causing our members to want to come back. And I think that's just a very positive cycle. I think everything about that is incredibly positive. Canadian athleisure brand Lululemon also realized the potential for at-home workouts powered by technology. In 2020, Lululemon acquired a fitness technology startup called Mirror for 500 million US dollars. Why did you decide to venture into the tech space? There was no more relevant time than in 2020 during the pandemic where health and fitness really became such a priority for most people across the globe. And our insights really tell us that this um, priority is not going to go away. Celeste Burgoyne is the president of the Americas and global guest innovation at Lululemon. She says the Mirror platform is about bringing the studio experience into the home with a library of live streams and on-demand classes. Mirror is a seamless experience. Um, it looks beautiful in a home and uh, in two seconds it turns into an all-inclusive fitness experience. The subscription-based mirror comes equipped with a built-in camera, speakers, and a 40-inch HD display. When you're working out at home on the mirror, it really feels like you're definitely not alone. Now, the mirror itself doesn't come cheap. It costs about 1500 US dollars, and then you have the monthly subscription fee on top of that. So how do you convince people to 
go for it, to make that investment and to buy a mirror. We feel really good that for people who are looking for that uh, elevated at-home experience, mirror is uh, really a great option. This year, Lululemon is launching Mirror in Canada, its first foray into international expansion after the U.S. market. The company is also rolling out a new line of weights that are aimed at personalizing the workout experience. The connected weights will be connected to Mirror. They will show reps. They will also recommend different weights uh, based on your fitness goals and uh, how you're currently doing uh, within your fitness routine. Soul-based 10-gram factory is another player in the smart fitness space with its LED-embedded smart rope. The problem that we saw with traditional jump ropes was that it's very tiresome to actually keep counting. So we thought, why don't we embed the LEDs inside the rope so that it would flash lights in midair for you when you're jumping and actually display the jump counts for you. And with its live broadcast from waterways around the world, Hydro is a rowing machine that seeks to simulate the real thing. Hydro has some patented technology, so we use two electromagnets and an algorithm. So there's a little uh, computer that lives inside the Hydro, and it recreates the exact feeling of being out on the water. A former U.S. national team rowing coach, Bruce Smith, said he started Hydro as a way to counter the sport's elitist stereotype and improve access to the exercise. I want to see more out of you. I know you got it. Come on. Woo. People feel more and more alienated, and the couch wins more and more. And you see it in the statistics around health and obesity. So removing barriers so that people have the opportunity to exercise and providing that little bit of extra motivation and also that human connection. It's something that just wasn't possible even, you know, five or six years ago. Whether it takes the form of a mirror, a bike, or a jump rope, technology offers us a vision of staying active that is frictionless and ever connected. Some, however, cite safety concerns as well as fears that this type of tech may be drawing us away from real life interactions. Do you think this is more than just a passing trend, that this is something that is here to stay? We really see kind of this hybrid trend where uh, at home will continue to be a huge part um, of our consumers' uh, fitness goals.